All right, moving on. After a lot of hype and controversy surrounding the movie, Prabhas Simkriti Sanon's Adi Purush has hit the theatres in Hindu, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and Kannada. Now, Adi Purush is helmed by Om Rath. It is a drama based on the epic Ramayana featuring Prabhas as Raghava, Kriti Sanon as Janaki. The movie also stars Saif Ali Khan as the antagonist Ravana. Now, this mythological drama is made on a budget of 500 crores. It is, of course, a highly ambitious project, I must say, but it seems to be disappointing both the audiences and the critics. Adi Purush was expected to provide a much-needed respite to occupancy levels in the first quarter of the financial year, that is 2023-24, but the movie is failing at it. Let's quickly talk about the fact that critics have called it an epic disappointment. Why do you ask? because of its cringeworthy dialogues and poor VFX. But before I dwell into it and what went wrong for the movie, let's listen into the reactions that came earlier in the day. Adi Purush is in the theatres, people are watching it in a lot of people, and you will see the posters from posters that these are the posters. What was the fact that the image of the Ram, 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 but after the teaser, the image of the Ram, 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 the image करा रहे हैं कैसी लगी आपको पूरी फिल्म फिल्म तो ठीक ठाक थी फर्स्ट हाफ काफी मतलब वो एंगेज रखा था ऑडियंस को पर सेकंड हाफ में तो लिटरली वो आधे पार्ट के बाद तो मैं सो रहा था क्योंकि इतना वीएफएक्स का गड़बड़ था और वो लंका एक्चुअली मैं सोने की रहनी चाहिए थी और वो पूरा ब्लैक था खाली मतलब और कैसा कि रावण था और सुग्रीव जो सुग्रीव थे हनुमान को उन्होंने एक ह्यूमन और क्या बोलते एनिमल फॉर्म में मतलब मिक्सचर दिखाया था पर सुग्रीव को पूरा उन्होंने मंकी दिखाया था वो कुछ कुछ जगह पर ना मिस आउट कर रही मूवी पिक्चर बहुत अच्छी है अब ये न्यू न्यू जनरेशन है वो थोड़ी सुधरेगी देख हाँ देख मुझे कुछ वर्ड अच्छे भी लगे अच्छा ही मैसेज मिलेगा उनको जो गीता में लिखा है वही मैसेज मिलेगा जो इन लोगों ने कभी गीता तो पढ़ी नहीं है ना हाँ। तो उन लोगों को अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस मिलेगा और कहानी भी अच्छी फिल्म भी अच्छी है Adi Purush, the much-awaited film of Telugu superstar Prabhas has finally hit the theatres all over the country. And right now I am here in Jammu and you can see a crowd of youngsters who have come to watch uh, this film. There is a lot of response. Normally during the first show, there is hardly any response. Today, advanced booking has already been done and the youngsters are here. Let me talk to them. How much excitement is for this film? There is excitement. It's Prabhas sir's movie. One of my favourite actors. They are playing a role of Ram. And they are... आप सुबह पहला शो देखने आए हैं क्या वजह है कि आप इस थिएटर में आए हैं रामायण के ऊपर बेस्ड है पूरी फिल्म हमारे कल्चर के ऊपर ये बेस्ड की गई है इसमें और भी बहुत सारे और जैसे रोल रोल्स की गई हैं जैसे प्रभास सर ने और भी कृति सर ने ऐसे फिल्म इस बेस्ड ऑन ना epic Ramayana. So that's one of the reasons that the youngsters want to see a movie in early 80s, late 80s and 90s we had seen. And everybody was glued to television set when the Ramayana was played on uh, television. And now this movie on Ramayana has attracted a lot many youngsters, but this movie has been embroiled in a lot many controversy from day one. We have seen the three years back when Saif Ali Khan gave a statement that first time the Ramayana will be presented in a human role. That time also it, were, it led to a lot of controversy. Then it was about a depiction of uh, Lord Ramayana and Harumana. So that also led to a controversy. Many people felt that this is not a good thing. And then re recent controversy had been Sita's dialogue. And that's one of the reasons that pe um, a mayor of Nepal said that he will not allow the movie to be released in Nepal because he wanted that particular statement to be deleted because he said Sita was born in Janakpur and that was in Nepal. It was not in India. So a lot of controversies are in this way. So this is also why you have seen the first time. Yes, the first time is the first time. जो पहला ट्रेलर आया था, इन्होंने रावण का कुछ करैक्टर था, तो उन्होंने गड़बड़ी की थी, तो उसी की वजह से कंट्रोवर्सी हुई थी। अभी भी फाइनल ट्रेलर आया है, रावण नहीं दिखाया है, तो वही देखने हम आए हैं कि कैसा है, क्या सीन है। जो जैसे मेकअप वगैरह जो लगता है लॉर्ड रामा का ये है, आपको so this is also possible. You have to see it completely. Yes, absolutely. There are a lot of more youngsters who want to speak to them. How much excitement is for this movie? It's a lot of excitement. 
अच्छा तो क्या वजह है जो कॉन्ट्रोवर्सीज भी इस मूवी के साथ काफी नहीं है क्या ये वजह भी है कि आप देखने के लिए आए नहीं सर हम सर हिंदू हैं हम राम के फैन हैं श्री राम के हनुमान जी के फैन हैं और प्रभास के भी सर फैन इसलिए देखने आए Well, to talk about everything related to this uh, film release, I'm joined in by Ravi Rai, who is a film and television writer, producer, and director. Mr. Ravi, thank you very much for taking the time out and joining us here on Mirror Now. In fact, we did hear all those public reactions coming in, clearly um, open to mixed reaction. But let's talk about the fact that this film, which has been made on such a huge budget as well. was mired in controversies do you think ultimately all of that has not even helped them gain that opening that they would have one would have wanted to ideally especially the filmmakers i mean i really don't know nivedna uh, 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 i mean it's too early right now you know we getting mixed reports some people are like it liking it and i still haven't seen the film but i'm uh, following the film on the digital media the twitter the facebook i mean a lot of people are also very disappointed with the dialogues the dialogues uh, which you which you've never heard before i mean you've seen ramayan a number of times you know you've read ramayan you've read ramayan as a child in amar chitra katha hai na and i don't think uh, these are the dialogues which i like they say ki if you separate uh, the text from the context so only con remains so there are a lot of people those are hurt by the whole thing and i am saying all this irrespective of whether the film crosses 200 crores or 300 crores worldwide or it crosses the uh, cost of the making but i i as a indian as a indian and primarily as a hindu uh, would have uh, wished that the film wouldn't have got uh, uh, even an ounce of a controversy and an ounce of a uh, uh, you know Uh, unhappiness about i mean uh, uh, what what we hear and what i mean uh, like uh, the film critics have said ki it's a epic disaster you know uh, isse pehle ramayan television pe aayi thi right. thodi bhi controversy nahi thi thoda bhi i mean people used to sit down and uh, uh, om raut has got a platform of a series which was worlds widely watched uh television series i mean you just have to condense it in uh, two hours and if people are not happy i am saying why would even a section of people uh, not be happy with their own beliefs and religion so that that to me personally i have yet to see the film and i'm again i am saying the film may cross humongous numbers but when the belief is dented and people are क्रिविंग अबाउट कि ये डायलॉग्स जो हैं बहुत ये हमने नहीं सुने दैट इज अ लिटिल डिसअपॉइंटिंग टू मी Absolutely. In fact, that was another aspect that I was Hello, going to talk to you about. In fact, just you know, um, which I did see on social media as well, Ravi, about the fact that someone did say that they're absolutely disappointed because of the cheap dialogue that has been used and the unnecessary dark theme. But the bigger aspect being, Ramayana is also part of a culture. It's not just mythology. And we have seen, of course, even in 1993, if you remember that movie that was made in the animated version. Um, you know, do you think it's obviously changing with times as well? Of course, you know, VFX is one part. of it which the makers have gone ahead and tried to make it more interesting probably for all age groups as well but the storyline you know the way it can be depicted um clearly probably not going the entire way that audiences would like for because the younger generation should also know you know these historic period dramas as well yeah i mean uh, the younger generation should know i mean there is no but uh, when you're trying to make a universe out of it you know you can't dent the characters of you know ravan ravan was never like this i mean uh, we've never seen ravan like that uh, uh, i i somehow uh, i i have no words i mean very honestly i mean what do i say you know Right, as one of the viewers did point out that uh, he was surprised with the way uh, Lord Hanuman was also depicted in the film. But quickly to talk about the other aspect, Ravi, um, if we talk about, all right, we we'll try connecting with uh, our guest over there to get us a quick sense of what he thinks about. On the other hand, with so much of uh, money has also been spent on VFX, and just to tell our viewers also, this is of course not the first time that Indian films have been made on a huge budget. um to of course give them that experience and sense of vfx if you look at 
um, the movies in the past as well, Rawan that was made in 2011, or Ram Setu in 2022, Kalank was made in 2019, Jani Dushman in 2002, and Mohinjo Daro in 2016. Of course, these are um, those films that were made on a huge budget with VFX. Um, Ravi, if I would come to you on that point, you know, earlier as well, like I was just telling our viewers as well, Ravan in 2011 or Ram Setu in 2022 or even other ambitious projects like Mohenjo-Daro, Jani Dushman, Kalang, you know, these are all films that we've seen the VFX angle as well. What do you think in the market is probably not working for them when they go for such highly ambitious projects? Do you believe that at the end of the day, it's just a storyline that actually works? Yes, Nevedana, you said it absolutely bang on. It's the storyline. I mean, you are you are dealing with beliefs, and it's a religion. I mean, it hardly matters the VFX and the uh, uh, the technical aspects of filmmaking. They hardly. I mean, the form doesn't matter. You know, I mean, the, not only the religious films and the beliefs that we are talking about. It's always the content that uh, uh, reaches your heart and that moves you. You know, I mean, to bring tears into your eyes or smile on your face, you do not require great visual effects or great technical uh, support to it. But, uh, I mean, if you look at Rama and uh, Ramanan Sagar's Rama, and it wasn't a very uh, uh, brilliant VFX. I mean, uh, no doubt, we didn't have uh, uh, the facilities to do, but uh, it certainly, I mean, I, I day before yesterday, I'm talking day before yesterday, I was cycling in my uh, bedroom and I was watching on a very uh, small, uh, some some very uh, a channel, and I was cycling, and I could uh, usually I cycle for 30 minutes. I cycled for almost one hour because I was watching uh, the old version of Rama, and it got me glued to it. You know, so I don't think it's about the visual effects or uh, we would they they would have failed there. But my only hurt uh, that I'm going through right now is that. Kisi ko bhi shikayat nahi honi chahiye thi. Not even a single ounce of, you know, uh, people... Uh, and it's a premise. I mean, if, if people are disappointed, we are spoiling... A, it's better we don't touch that if we are not sure about it, you know. that That's just uh, uh, an amount of hurt that uh, a lot of people who go inside and come out and they're talking about the film. There should have been just a universal talk about the film. Uh, fantastic or uh, uh, Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, right. or, you know, which, which is missing uh, in the opening uh, uh, day of the film. But Ravi, if I were to ask you this, this has been, uh, you know, a topic of discussion for the past couple of years, especially in the Hindi film industry, the big 100 crore club. Do you think sometimes filmmakers are in that particular race and sometimes you know you want to get different angles perspective even if it's vfx for that matter or let's just say um, all these uh, promotions that go in full swing but we forget the main basis of it which is storytelling the art of storytelling like you just pointed out how you also were looking at it a couple of days where clean storytelling was doing wonders but now we're just marketing this product which comes in the form of the movie but look at the previous films, Nivedana. Uh, I mean, the marketing has failed. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, you look at post-COVID or, uh, I mean, during COVID, we didn't make films, but post-COVID, I mean, uh, we blamed it on uh, the cancel culture. We blamed it on the boycotts. But can you can you name a film that we came out from the theatres and we said that it was a lot of pictures, but it boycott a lot of pictures. We made bad films and they were bad contents, very honestly, and, and good films work. I mean, if we blame it on the boycott culture, films like uh, uh, Brahmastra and uh, films like Pathan and films, other films also, they work there because they were brilliant content. It's the content that works. Right. And only a content and a good promise by a director. I mean, we need, we need a great promise by a director or a filmmaker that takes you to 100 crores and 200 crores. I mean, uh, otherwise, otherwise, if I mean, you, I have if to you interject just, to there, probably, uh, but the best way to analyze that is content is indeed the king. Doesn't matter, you know, how many generations go by. That's probably the best way to put it. Thank you very much for taking the time out and joining us here on Daily Mirror. And on that note, that's all I have for you in this session. Thank you very much for watching. But stay tuned to Mirror Now News at 7 coming up on the other side.